Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you definitely subscribe down below. So as you guys can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm doing a long-awaited update updated what's on my iPhone so if you guys have been following me for a while you know I had an iPhone 8 plus for like the whole time since I started my YouTube channel I've literally had that phone since like my junior year of high school and I'm now a sophomore in college and so I finally got a new phone so fun fact you guys um I actually broke that phone that's in this video but I wanted to upload this video anyways because I figured you guys could still enjoy it. I broke the 11 Pro Max before I even got to Florida on my trip to Florida um, about a week ago. And so I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max now. So I'm going to do this video again in a couple weeks for you guys with my new phone once I finish getting it all set up and everything. But yeah, I actually broke this phone. I literally had it for a month. It's the first phone I've ever broken. I've never broken a phone before. And um, yeah. That's all. And I got a iPhone 11 Pro Max and I'm so lucky because this is actually my boss's old phone and she was getting a new phone and this phone is like basically less than a year old and she was like, why don't you take my phone? I do a ton of social media for my job and like photography so my iPhone 8 Plus camera was just kind of not the best quality for what we would want our social media content to be for my job so she gave me her old phone and I'm so thankful to her for that because that's just the nicest thing ever. Saved me so much money on buying a phone. I actually really needed a new phone too. I was gonna buy one if she like wouldn't have given me this because my charging port was like fried on my old phone so it was just perfect timing. So this is my beauty right here. Um, iPhone 11 Pro Max. My phone case that I have on right now is from Bing cases. It's so cute. They have customizable cases and like just super fun prints and everything. So I have this case that I got from them with my name on it and it's just these pressed flowers which are so cool because they're like real. Yeah, I do have a discount code for Bing cases. I will leave down below links to all that. But I just wanted to show you guys the cases that I have for my phone case in case you just need some ideas on phone cases or whatever. So got this one that they sent me. I put this cute little pop socket on it that was on one of my old phone cases. But it's just a little sparkle one and it has my name in pink. I really like this like font. It's super cute. It says none of this is sponsored by the way. I'm just sharing my favorite stuff. And then I have a couple case to buy cases. I've already used two of these so this one has fingerprints all over it. But I have this case to buy case that just has like the mirror and then it has my name right there. But I'll leave my case to buy code and my Bing case code in the description box if you guys want to check them out. This phone case which is so cute from case to buy. I love this but I got these cases and I wanted to put them on. So adorable. It has little smileys all over it so super cute and then i have these pop sockets i went on amazon and i wanted to find like an affordable pack of pop sockets because if you are a pop socket person they're pretty expensive they're like 15 20 dollars for one of these little like these so i went on amazon and i found a three pack of just plain white pop sockets so i have one on this case one on the other case you guys saw and they're just they match every case so i I have a lot of cases so I was like this is so worth it. It was $10 for three pop sockets. So I'll link these down below on Amazon. Let's get on into what's on my iPhone. So I'm going to start the screen recording right now. Okay so this is my lock screen. I have face ID now. I used to have the button. When you open my phone this is what it looks like. I did finally switch up my like screen saver and whatever. I had it the same for so long. It was the one that was on my previous what's on my iPhone. So recently I switched. I was like I need to switch this up whatever I don't want everything to be the exact same for the video I just got the background photo off of Google I just searched like pink cloud sunsets and super pretty just came up and then I switched up this little thing some different colors some different fonts you know super cute so on my front page are my most used apps so I have my messages up in the top contacts I have Google Calendar I prefer Google Calendar over the calendar that comes on your phone I just think it's easier it works with your google if you have things going on in your email it hooks it up to there i just prefer it the setup is just much easier to view and you can kind of see everything all at once and then i have my settings app utilities i kind of just have like all these kind of random apps like the notes calculator voice memos reminders i use the reminders app a ton just to like remind me if i need to turn out a brand deal or like post on instagram or whatever i need to do super awesome 
find my iPhone and then Venmo and Cash App. I have the weather app and then I have my photography folder. I keep all my photography, like video, whatever apps in one folder. So I have a ton of apps for photography, obviously, as you can see, I have three pages because, again, I do a lot of social media photography for my job. So I've downloaded a lot of apps through that. So I just have all these apps. Um, some of them aren't fully downloaded, but yeah i use lightroom a ton that's what i use to edit my photos and i use unum to like lay out my instagram feed to make sure everything like looks good and like whatever because aesthetic pur purposes you know you know the drill um pic collage is a really good app for just like making cute birthday instagram stories and like collages that type of thing I use Facetune a ton for my job for like smoothing and whatever. That's the main tool I use on there. And then the whitening tool I use sometimes for like whitening like backgrounds or walls. Retouch is another app I use a ton. It's an app I use if I want to like get rid of something. So like if I were to take a picture of this and that plug is in the background, I would hate that. So I could remove that. I'm going to actually take a screenshot and remove that plug and show you guys just how it does that. On the second page, I just have some other random apps. I use Kira Kira a lot for my job. It's just like an app that enhances sparkles and everything. So yeah, those are all my photography apps. Then I have maps. Then I have my social media apps that I use the most on the bottom row. So I have Visco, Instagram, and Snapchat because those are definitely my most like clicked back and forth as you see. Sorry if those notifications bug you. Um, I need to check them. But yeah. So I have those apps and then I have Google. I don't like using Safari. I just have never liked it so i always have had google and then i have tiktok and spotify and my starbucks app of course because i'm there very often so we have that on the front page and then i have a little folder with just two of my youtube apps which is the youtube app and then youtube studio which is for youtubers and like content creators because you can go in there you can check your views you can check analytics everything like that comments i can reply to comments through it it's just a lot easier than doing it on youtube so i really like that app and then on this bottom row right here i have my phone my two mail apps so i have the mail app that comes on the phone and then i have gmail which is i basically sorted it so my mail app it has so many notifications because i have like two of my main emails on there and my school email so there's just like three email accounts on that but then on the gmail app i only have my youtube work email social media email whatever you want to call it so it's just easier to like navigate for me and then i have canvas which is what i use for my school i'm an online college student so i just like it having canvas because if i want to just make sure something is due on a certain date or whatever it's just really easy to check there then this is my second page. It's kind of just random apps. So I have these cute little widgets. Oh wait, this one is supposed to be over here. I don't know why that got moved, but I have cute, these cute little widgets. Both of them are me and Allie. And so I updated those pictures to make them cute and kind of just match the vibe, you know? And then I have this followers app. I used to use it a ton on my private Instagram. I don't check it that often. I have the Bible app. I don't really check that that often. I have CoStar. I don't really use that that often. On my last what's on my iPhone, I told you guys how CoStar wasn't sending me notifications anymore. And I just kind of like never, I just kind of gave up on it to be honest. I was like, okay, I'm over this. So I honestly should just delete the app, but maybe I'll give it one more check in the notification center if I can like fix it now that I have a new phone. I don't know. I just haven't even paid attention to it. I have Life360, which is just like my family all has it. I have a banking app. I have the two app store apps just like in one section right here and I have shopping so I have Target Amazon I don't know why I have Southwest in here I just didn't know where to put it so I threw it in there but Target and Amazon I use those two shopping apps the most like on my phone I have my period app so this is like you can just put when you're on your period and it kind of just like lets you keep track of your periods and everything and then I have FaceTime I have Shazam on here in case I hear a song one of add the song to my playlist i have shazam i have the clock app i have happy lighting which is basically i have led lights in my room you can like turn them on through here so it's just really cool it's a lot better than having a remote then i have pinterest I actually just made my pinterest into like a creator business type of pinterest so if you want to follow me on pinterest i am gonna try and be more like I'm going to try and treat this kind of like a visco, so I'm going to try and upload consistently everything on Pinterest, so I will put my Pinterest up on the screen if you want to follow me, 
And then I have Facebook. I never go on there. I have Twitter. I don't really ever go on there either. It was so funny because I was on Twitter and I saw that Famous Birthdays gave me a happy birthday tweet like on my birthday which was February 5th and I noticed that like two days ago and it's March. So I was like, oh, that's so awkward. I just, I'm never on Twitter. I used to go on Twitter a ton, but I just don't anymore. I have the Nextdoor app. It's just basically an app for your neighborhood. And then this is my last page. I have the Messenger app for Facebook. Um, a lot of times, I used to not have this, but a lot of the older people that I'm friends with on Facebook, you know, like family, friends, and whatever, they'll use Facebook Messenger. And I didn't realize, like, I don't know. I didn't realize they would, like, message me and stuff. So I got Facebook Messenger so I can, like, know when they're messaging me so I'm not like not responding you know and then I have ADP I never use that this folder um it's just all the random apps that I don't delete but I have on my phone so it's just useless honestly and then I have Rubio's for food and I have Depop on here which is what I sell clothes on I don't have anything up there right now but have Depop I have the Ring Doorbell app because I am a spyer and I like to spy on people who come to our doorbell when I don't want to go check it or I'm not home. And then I have the Chick-fil-A app because, you know, you know the drill. I have Amazon Alexa because I have an Alexa. That happens every time. And then I actually recently, I have this cute little widget of me and Madison. It's so adorable. And then um, I recently downloaded Fetch Rewards. It's like an app that, that basically you just scan your receipts and you get points and then once you have like certain amounts of points you can like get gift cards to like Starbucks or Amazon or whatever so I actually just got that like probably a month ago and it's really cool I just think it's like a good way to get like free money almost by just scanning your receipts so yeah that is basically all the apps on my phone when you pull down this screen these are just what I have right here so I added on the screen recording button the um low power mode button because I just like having easy access to that and not having to go all the way to my settings and then I also added on the QR scanner because of course with COVID and corona whatever when you go to like restaurants um I haven't been to a restaurant honestly I think since we were in Tahoe like last month but when you go to restaurants in order to like get the menu you have to scan it with the QR code reader and you can actually do it in your camera roll but I was just like I'll just put the QR thing right there. It's like it doesn't hurt anyone. And it's not like I have a ton of little buttons right there. So I just added it. And yeah, so those are all the little buttons I have right there. I've had to get used to definitely sliding down um, instead of like sliding up. Okay, you guys, that is everything that is on my new phone. Again, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Here's just what she looks like. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I am a smaller content creator, so every like and comment and engagement you guys do helps me out. So definitely go give the video a like if you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe down below because I post videos twice a week, so you don't want to miss out. And if you guys want to check out any of the cases or whatever, I'll link everything down below that I talked about for you guys so you can easily access it and I'll put my discount codes down below if I have them. All my social medias are linked down below. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram because I talk to you guys so much over there and it's just a fun time over on Instagram. So definitely go follow me on Instagram if you aren't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.